How's it going everybody? You're watching Danable Tech and today I'm going to show you everything there is to know about multitasking in iPad OS 13. Keep in mind that I'm going to be using the new iPad Pro for this video, so I'm going to be demonstrating on the new iPad Pro, but you can do this on any iPad that's running iPad OS 13. And speaking about it, uh, I have a video teaching you guys how you can install iPad OS 13 beta right now on your device on your iPad 100% free. So go ahead and have a look. I'm going to have the link in the description or on the card above so just go ahead click and go ahead and have a look so without further ado let's get started all right guys so first the basics as you know we have the multitasking screen which on the new ipad pro is just a swipe up and let go and then you have all your windows are open right now so all your apps that are open right now if you have if you have an older ipad it would be a double a double tap on the home button and then you, you would get this exact same screen uh, after that something that is very important is obviously the dock so the dock is always on display on your first home page and if you are on any app so if you're here in safari for example uh, just a slight swipe up you're gonna you're gonna reveal the dock all right so these are just the basics and i have to explain you this because after uh we're gonna talk a lot about these things now a very interesting tip is that you can invoke the multitasking screen with four fingers so we don't actually need to reach all the way down or press the home button if you have it uh, which would be four fingers and a slight swipe up so let me show you so just a slight swipe up and as you guys can see you reveal right here your the same multitasking screen and if you swipe up a little bit further you go back to your home page so that's very interesting as well because you can do it anywhere around the screen so I really like that tip okay now if I open any app so I'm gonna open Safari right here again I'm gonna show you something really cool called slide over so if I bring up my dock one more time I can actually go ahead and pick any of these apps right here and then I can just drag them so tap hold and drag and I can drag them anywhere around my screen and I'm gonna have as you guys can see uh, one app in the background and another app right here and the interesting thing is that they're working at the same time so uh, it's not like one is working and the other is frozen no they're uh, uh, working together uh, dynamically moving and working at the same time so I really love this feature uh, and also, as you guys can see, uh, this screen right here with slide over, it is just like an iPhone. It is just like an iPhone screen because of its size. The user interface is exactly of an iPhone, so it's almost like you have an iPhone stack on top of your iPad. So it's very easy to use because it's almost as if you're using your iPad and your iPhone on top. So I really love this. Now, if you want to move the slide over window uh, backwards and forwards, you can just do it very easily by grabbing on the edge of the window. So as you guys can see, we have this window right here you can grab on either side and then uh, move it to the left and to the right and that's how it works uh, another very interesting thing is that a lot of people didn't know how to hide those windows in iPad OS 13 but it's exactly the same way so you grab on the edge of the window and just uh, like flick to the side as you guys can see and then uh, to bring it back is exactly, exactly the same way so from the edge you just bring it back okay so you flick it to the you flick it to the left for example and then you flick it back to the right so that's pretty much how it works uh, another very very interesting thing about slide over is that now you can have multiple slide over windows right here from different apps so as you guys can see I have Safari in the background I have my files right here and if I want I can go ahead and add for example notes so I have notes right here and then I have uh, let's say iTunes so Apple music so I have it for example Apple music right here and then uh, in what 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 can I do if I want to actually switch between them it's actually it's actually very easy all you have to do is as you guys can see right here on your iPhone style little thing right here you can just slide up and then you're gonna see all your apps all the apps that you have um, in slide over so we can switch from your music to your notes swipe up to your files or if you want you can just flick to the left or to the right and then you're going to be flicking around and moving from app to app which is something that i really really love and now you can have this in a much better productive way i really love slide over feature after that we're going to talk about split screen so what if you don't want to have this flying around like slide over like flying over and blocking your content all you have to do is actually grab on this little grabber on the top so you, tap, you grab here and slide down and as you're sliding down you can see it's going to actually split screen so now you have your split screen between uh, safari and files or any other app that you want so then you can basically resize by grabbing on this middle grabber right here so for example you have this 70 30 percent 
Again, you have this iPhone style layout right here as if you have an iPhone on here and then you have the bigger screen on the other side and then you can make it 50-50 or something like that. Now, we have many more advanced features regarding split screen because before in iOS 12, it would end here, but now we have more things. So uh, if I wanna close that, so I'm gonna just grab here and then uh, on the middle and then slide all the way to the right. So then I'm gonna all, I'm gonna have my iPhone, my sorry, my uh, Safari window right there. And the new thing with a split screen is that you can have two windows from the same app. So I'm, I can have two Safari windows right here if I want. And how do I do that? You can just, for example, create a new tab, uh, and you can go, for example, to a website. So let's go to 95 Mac, for example. And then after that, all you have to do is grab here on the tab. And as you guys can see, I have the tab right here with me with my finger. And then I'm gonna slide to the right. And as you guys can see, I have two windows at the same time. So then I can be browsing the web from one page right here to another right there. So I have two Safari windows working at the same time. And of course, I can also resize them if I want. So that's very, very cool again iPhone style, it's almost like you have an iPhone here. Okay, and after that, we have more interesting stuff. So this is not only to Safari, you can actually do that with other apps uh, with other apps as well. For example, you can do that with notes. So if I have a note right here, as you guys can see, and if I wanna open another note, let's say uh, this one, all I have to do is the same kind of uh, thought. So you grab and hold on a note, slide to the right and then you have two notes at the same time so then you're working much in a much more productive way so you're looking at something here typing it out here and backwards and forwards. so i really like that and not only that but now we have expose so as you guys can see i'm following this script so that's pretty cool so i just finished this uh, and now we have expose and how does expose work all you have to do is if you are within an app so i'm right here uh, I'm, I'm right here on notes as you guys can see i can bring up my doc and then if i tap on notes again just tap on the app uh I just tap it and as you guys can see it's gonna bring the expose just like on the mac so what what you're basically seeing here are all all the windows that are open from the same app so as you guys can see i have it uh i had this note which was the quick notes that i was looking before um and just because i closed it as you guys i just closed it so i created another window so as you guys can see i have this window and this window right here if i want i can just go ahead and close it so then i just have one window again so i just have one window from notes and if i want i can just go ahead and tap on the plus button and then i have another notes window so same story bring up my expose and i have two windows so now we can be much more productive because you can work on multiple windows on your ipad before you definitely could not do that and same story with your safari or something so let's say here uh same story if i just close it out i'm gonna have two windows now because i'm gonna have my apple.com and then I'm gonna have my uh, uh, 925 Mac, which is the one I was looking before. And I, either, and I even had a third one, which was The Verge. And same story, if I just wanna open it up uh, very quickly, I just open the expose and click on the plus button and now I have four windows very, very easily. So that's it guys, now you know how to fully work with multitasking on your iPad Pro. You know how to expose, multitask, slide over, uh, open multiple apps at the same time. Uh, this is just absolutely amazing. It just gives you so, so much more productivity on your iPad. It is getting there, it is almost becoming a computer. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye bye.